need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared war. He's invaded the Lilat system and is trying to take over Corneria. Let's get the obligatory praise out of the way first. This was one of the most addictive and enjoyable games for the Nintendo 64. So to have a new version with some extra modes and a gorgeous makeover is a fantastic treat for Nintendo fans. But chances are, if you're a Nintendo fan, you've also been waiting for a reason, for any reason, to break out your 3DS. The system isn't exactly overrun with quality software, to put things mildly. And as mind-blowing as this game is, I think it's important to note the state of the platform to which Star Fox 64 3D has released. The two best Nintendo 3DS games are just two of the best Nintendo 64 games. Of course, that's a criticism of the platform and not the two games themselves. It's important to point out because that situation takes away a bit of their shine, but you can't deny the greatness of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. And in some ways, Star Fox 64 3D is even better. Launching into 3DS orbit just a few days ago, Star Fox 64 3D is the second classic Nintendo 64 game remade for the Nintendo 3DS. Level for level, quote for quote, this is the same Star Fox 64 that you played until your thumb went numb in 1997. But the thing is, it's never been better than it is now. So yes, Star Fox 64 3D is a port, an ugly word with an ugly connotation, but there's nothing ugly about Star Fox 64 3D. This game has been polished to a stunning gleam for the 3DS. Those old graphics from an old console that really hasn't aged all that well have been replaced with gorgeous vistas, vibrant colors, impressive effects. It's clear that a lot of effort went into this game and the result is a very polished product that defies all those negative connotations that come with the label port. But it's about more than just the visual update. Star Fox 64 3D also adds some new content as well. Once you've unlocked them in the campaign, you can play each level individually to go for high scores. And speaking of the campaign, you can actually play the game with two different control settings, traditional controls and gyroscope controls. And they both work great, but when you play with motion, it's functionally impossible to use the system's 3D effect. And since this is one of the most impressive uses of 3D yet on the 3DS, it's kind of a shame to go without it. The added layers of depth and Star Fox feel like they were made for each other. And since circle pad controls are the better option anyway, that's probably the way to go. This thing will never hold together. There's also multiplayer, as with the original, and it's similar to the various attempts Star Fox has made at multiplayer in the past. Though the gameplay seems well suited for multiplayer, Nintendo's always struggled to make it work, and even though this is probably their best attempt yet, it's still not good enough to be a focus. You'll spend a lot more time gunning for high scores than gunning for your friends. The local multiplayer is great, but given the sales situation of the 3DS, I mean, good luck finding friends to play with. Star Fox 64 has always been a Nintendo classic, and it's even better in this fantastic remake. Of course, the problem is, like Ocarina of Time, you've probably already barrel rolled through Star Fox 64 a thousand times, but it's still an impressive new spin on a classic, and especially if you've never played it, this is a must-buy game for your Nintendo 3DS.